Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Bump Box Uprock V1S. Now this is the biggest, baddest, and loudest Bump Box speaker yet. You can pick this up from bumpbox.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 895 bucks. Now it comes in four different colors. You got black, red, blue, and white. All right, so now let's go through all of the features. You got a digital stereo amp, a new stealth LED EQ display, one wireless microphone, dual USB charging ports, you get a remote sensor, SD and USB MP3 players, you got a quarter inch line in, quarter inch line out, quarter inch guitar input, and a quarter inch microphone input. Now you also have a battery indicator with low level warning beep. Now let's go through the audio specs. You got four eight inch woofers, two four inch tweeter horns, two four inch mid range. You got 125 decibel sound rating and 1000 watts of max power. Now the speaker weighs 48 pounds. All right, so let's unbox this and see what you get inside. All right, so here's everything that you get in the box. You got your usual books and shit, pluck them, file them to the side. You got your charging plug. Now on a side note, I like that they got rid of that big brick and now you get a regular size plug. You got your 3.5 line in and out cables. You get your carrying strap. A pad for the carrying strap, because like I said, this speaker weighs 50 pounds, so you're gonna need this. You got a wireless microphone, and you get a remote control. Now for the speaker itself, on the top, you got your metal carrying handle, and if you look closely, bump box embedded into the frame. Now the speaker's made out of this Doratex material, Definitely feels premium. You got your four woofers, two tweeters, two horns. You get 26 LEDs and a big bump box logo that actually lights up. Now on the bottom, you got some inputs. On the top, Uprock V1S. Let's get a closer look at the inputs. Now on the bottom, you got dual USB charging ports. That's five volts, 1.2 amps. Charge up your phones, your tablets, whatever you got. There's your infrared sensor and your 3.5 auxiliary input. Now here's what the speaker looks like on the right side. On the top, you got a little screw. That's where you're gonna put your strap at. Now here's a closer look at the control panel. On the top, you got your LED display. So let's turn this on. Okay, you got a USB MP3 reader. So this way, if you got a flash drive, you can play music directly from it. You got an SD card reader. Same thing, you can play music from that too. This is your mode button. That's going to switch between Bluetooth and Auxiliary. You can repeat the songs, play and pause, skip and reverse tracks, and all your different EQ settings. Now here's your guitar volume, a quarter inch guitar input. You got two quarter inch line inputs, two uh, line in and out left and right channels. Here's your master volume, bass, treble, mic echo, regular echo, and mic volume. Now you also got your mic priority. You got four battery level indicator LEDs. So one says power, low, charge, and full will be green. Now you got another quarter inch line mic input. There's your power button, another auxiliary input, and there's your plug input. Now the left side of the speaker is empty. Now on the back of the speaker, you just got your two vents. All right, so I got this all paired up, so now let's test it out. Now for the pairing process, real simple. Once you power on the speaker, switch the mode settings to Bluetooth, Go to your phone's Bluetooth menu and select the V1S. Now I got my usual test songs. I'm gonna start off with 50% volume, 50% bass, and 50% treble, then we'll max it out. Here we go.
right, now here's max volume, max treble, and max bass. So now we'll try another song. And on a side note, I'm sitting right in front of the speaker. And honestly, this might be one of the loudest speakers that I ever heard. My ears are literally ringing. The loudness level is incredible. All right, so I'm going to turn it down a little. We'll start a song. Then I'll bump it back to max volume. Here we go. <laughs> One more song at max volume. So now let's try out the wireless microphone. And on a side note, I played with all of the EQ settings and found my favorite one. So here we go. Let's hit the power button. Yeah, 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 yeah. DJ Kirk, 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 Kirk,
So overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the Bump Box Up Rock V1S a major, major, major go. At this price range, this is easily the loudest Bluetooth speaker that I ever heard. Now, I will say this. If you're looking for audio file quality, then you might want to go with the Diamond Box XL2. But the only problem with that is it's double the price. All right, you're looking at 1800 bucks. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not taking an $1,800 speaker to the beach or to the park. This one, the price is right. Now, the build quality is excellent. I love that Doraflex material. Everything feels premium. You got the retro look. Now, I'm old school. I grew up in the boombox eras. RIP Radio Raheem. This is a flashback right here for me. I love this retro design. Now, you get 12 hours worth of battery life. All right, so even at max volume, say you take away two to three hours, that's still nine hours that's going to last you the life of your party. The Bluetooth range is 300 feet. Now, I did my usual 30 feet test, no problems. I did 50 feet all the way up to 150 feet, no drop connection. You got two USB charging slots on the front, charge up your phone, your tablet, everything on the go. You also got your 3.5 input for non-Bluetooth devices. You got your mic and your guitar inputs. So if you're buying this for karaoke, you're good to go. One of the things that I really like is this wireless mic. Now the quality on this is excellent. Got your little display on it. The echo chamber is crazy. DJ Cringe is back in the building. Another thing that I really like is that big bright LED logo on the front and all your LED lights. They look very stealthy, but they still look dope. All right, LED lights on the front. Y'all know I'm all about RGB life. Now, you also got your USB MP3 player and an SD card reader. So this way, if you don't want to be tied down to the speaker DJing, make your little playlist, put on an SD card, and rock out. You got your remote control. I didn't really show y'all this too much, but it's a basic remote control. You ain't got to get up off the couch, control all your features. This speaker is a triple major go, white shoes approved. Like I said, at this price range, this is the loudest Bluetooth speaker that I ever heard. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck, get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.
a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're going to buy some of that technology, you got to understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the Facebook. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.